first of all, in this example, if you guys remember in our notes last class period, sine, I'm going to rewrite all the trigonometric functions here in a second, OK, or for our notes. So just remember that sine in your last focus lesson was opposite over hypotenuse. So we got to find our 60 degrees. 60 degrees is right here. This angle, 60 degrees. Remember, whenever we're doing our trig, especially sine, cosine, and tangent, the first thing I always like to do is identify my hypotenuse. Then, in your focus lesson last class period, I also told you what is the adjacent side. The adjacent side is the side that connects your angle with your 90 degree angle. Do you guys see how that's my angle I'm referring to, which is 60 degrees, not theta. So we're referring to 60 degrees. So that side length that connects 60 degrees with my 90 degree angle is my adjacent side. So by rules of elimination, if that's hypotenuse, that's adjacent, then this has to be opposite. Does everybody agree with me? Is everybody OK? Did I explain yes. that thoroughly? Do I need to review anything? No. OK. So last class where we talked about sine opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite, I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 60 degrees is equivalent to the square root of 3 over 2. That's it. Done. That's all I need. For cosine of 60, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. Again, this was provided to you guys in your focus lesson last class period. So that is going to be 1 over 2. The tangent is opposite over adjacent. Square root of 3 over 1, which is just the square root of 3. Now, yes? So if we actually put in the sine of 60 and cosine of 60 and tangent of 60 degrees. Plug them into your calculator right now with degrees. And you'll, well, these are irrational numbers. So you'd have to actually like find the decimal version of this. But if you type in cosine of 60 degrees into your calculator and you're in degree mode, you will get 0.5, which is obviously the same thing as 1 half. Right? We just have two different ways of finding that. Right. There's one way without a calculator, and there's one way with a calculator. Yes? OK, so cosine, it's all that of 60 degrees. So what if it was a third? Like, what would be the difference? Well, so of 30 degrees, that's a good question. I, I'll go over it right now. Just if we were talking about 30 degrees, then we're talking about this angle, right? So what is my new adjacent angle of what is my adjacent side of this angle? Square root of 3. So the opposite and the adjacent switch. So, the co so what, the cosine? The cosine of 30 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. And no, it is not coincidence that the cosine of 30 degrees is the same thing as the cosine of 60 degrees. We'll actually, go, we'll actually find out why that works later on in this chapter. Sine. The sine of 60 degrees, what I say, cosine of 60 degrees? Yeah. These are equivalent. And we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll investigate that further later. So now, let's talk about these three, because we haven't talked about them. I did provide them to you on the bottom. Where? Oh, yeah, those are supposed to all be 60s right there. Um, on the last box, those are all supposed to be 60s. Huh? These two are the same one. Yep. I know. These are supposed to be 60s. OK? No, just that last row, column. What? 60, 60. OK. So the last thing I want to go over is the last thing I'd like to go over is how to evaluate our reciprocal identities. So our reciprocal identities, what you guys should see on the bottom of this, we're going to write these down actually in our formal notes today. But what you guys can see is the cosecant, that's what CSC represents is cosecant. We'll write that out. But cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So reciprocal. So instead of, remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. And you guys can see that secant is a reciprocal of cosine, and the cot, cotangent, is a reciprocal of tangent. So what these represent is just the reciprocal of these. So once you know the basic three basic sine, cosine, tangent, all you need to do is reciprocate them to find the reciprocal functions. So cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. So therefore, this is 2 over the square root of 3. However, we do not want to write a um, 
a square root in the denominator. So I'm going to rationalize the denominator. I'm going to show you guys rationalizing this the denominator for like three examples today. And then I'm going to pretty much stop doing it every single time and just write the answer. So does everybody understand how I got 2 squared of 3 over 3? Because I'm just going to start writing that answer. Yes? You said it's a reciprocal of what? Cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. Okay. I put them in order for you. So therefore, the reciprocal of 2 over 1, or 1 over 2, is just 2 over 1, which is 2. And then the reciprocal of square root of 3 over 1 is 1 over the square root of 3 which I'll do it one more time, rationalize the denominator, you get square root of 3 over 3. Does everybody see that? Anybody have any questions? No? All right, so why don't you guys just go ahead and try, see if you guys can figure out.